Yo, what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy No Name back at it again with another, this time, NFL general update video. I actually have two topics I want to address. I'm not sure if both of them are going to fit in one vid. Uh, you might get two vids if I go a little extended with the Redskins one or if they both fit you're gonna get a little bit of Giants news also but this Redskins topic here is something that I want to talk about uh, for a while now um, since really it came out a couple days ago that FedEx was kind of pressuring them or you know requesting that they uh, change the name of the team which has been a topic for many years now a topic of discussion should the Washington Redskins change their name um, to something a bit less offensive than the Washington Redskins has been a topic for many years now and well Dan Snyder has never even really given it any thought uh, him and the ownership they've always sort of defended the name saying uh, and this is a, tr a true story that they worked hand in hand with a uh, Native American group to come up with the name and it was based off of a old chief on um, whose name I actually don't know but I know that story is true back in 1971 when the Washington Braves changed their name to the Washington Redskins so I guess first things first and this is actually really really early at the time of recording a tweet from the Redskins at 12 40 p.m. I'm recording right now and it's like one o'clock so just 20 minutes ago and this is the statement from uh, Washington uh, they say in light of recent events around our country and feedback from our art community, the Washington Redskins are announcing the team will undergo a thorough review of the team's name. This review formalizes the initial discussions of the team that the team has been having with the league in recent weeks. Dan Snyder, owner of the Re owner of the Washington Redskins, stated, "This process allows the team to take into account not only the proud tradition and history of the franchise, but also input from our alumni, the organization, sponsors." the National Football League, and the local community it is proud to represent on and off the field. Ron Rivera, head coach of the Washington Redskins, remarked, This is an issue of personal importance to me, and I look forward to working closely with Dan Snyder to make sure we continue the mission of honoring and supporting Native Americans and our military. We believe this review can and will be conducted with the best interest in mind. So this is just a couple minutes ago once again, and I was going to do a vid on this, um, and I was just going to like speculate whether or not it's going to happen. I was gonna you know probably put in a few suggestions that I think would be pretty cool and then they released this and it looks like it might actually happen I'm still not fully convinced because once again this is something that everybody's been pressuring on the team the organization to do for years something that they've always ignored and it's something that I don't know they, it just doesn't look like it would have ever happened because of the name has become one with the franchise now the name holds a lot of weight in terms of money and when you talk about sponsors you you talk about you know businesses doing what they must to keep bringing in that cash flow in the name is that now it's just like the giants the giants itself the name itself means you're gonna make money when you change the name it is gonna you know take a while for them to get back to where they were but i don't know why uh Washington fans are so opposed to it. I mean, you look at the comment section of this Twitter post right here, bro. You got a lot of fans that claim to be diehards, but they're like, they're never going to deal with FedEx again, which I'm like, I right, bro, there's other mailing companies you can use. There's fans, once again, quote unquote, diehards that say they never thought they had to switch to another NFL team. Like, you're really about to switch the team you support because they're changing the name. Don't you support the team? Not the name. I mean, it's still going to be the same team. It's just going to be called something else. You're really about to switch that just because they're changing the name. Like, and I'll say it right now, if the Giants were to change their name for some reason, which I don't see happening, but if they were, I'm still going to support the team. It's still, to me, going to be the Giants. I mean, it's not like they're forcing people to not call them the Redskins again because no matter what happens, whether they change the name or not, let's say they do change the name and they change it like back to the Washington Brave, which honestly I think is the most sensible thing to do. It's already has history with the team as it was once the name you can still call it the redskins i'm people will still call it the redskins because it's now so in tune with them they'll still call them the nickname the skins i think the hogs is one of the um the redskins nickname you can still call them that the fact that there's like a good amount of people in the comment section of this twitter post really just saying oh they're gonna switch teams oh i can't believe that the organization is gonna do this oh man uh screw fedex i'm never using fedex again it's like really is there is it really like I thought you were a fan of the team, not a fan of the name, right? Like, I don't know why so many people are taking it so far. I mean, for me, I personally think that it is 
um at the end of the day it is a racially insensitive uh word to use however when you consider the fact that it was brought up they did work hand in hand with a native american group to bring it up it does make me think so the best thing to do forward in today's day and age i think will be to do that again work hand in hand with the um and let me pull up the name here the american indigenous business leaders the aibl which i think is one of the largest native american like uh business groups in the united states you could work with other native american business groups but keely the american indigenous business leaders group work with them again as i think they did that in 71 work with them again to try and come up with another name for the team maybe have them submit a list of approved names and then you know have fans vote on the list of, of approved names or just open it back up to the fans again i've seen some pretty good suggestions once again i think the most sensible one would be just to go back to the washington brave one of my favorites that i've seen was actually the washington pigskins because here you can still keep the nickname skins you don't really have to change the color scheme you could have a cool wild boar as your new logo a uh, pigskin in and of itself is a football term that everybody uses like whenever you're talking football and you can still keep the nickname the hogs I mean, I think that's a pretty cool substitute as well. Um, I've seen other ones, a really popular one over the past couple of years, I want to say since like 2015 or so, uh, is the Washington Warriors. You can still keep the logo and everything. And uh, obviously the Warriors, uh, the reason it's become popular in recent years was because of Golden State in the NBA. But that's another really good one that you can keep and not really the only thing that would change is the name. I think it's been a long time coming if they do do it, but they definitely need to consult um, Native American groups like the AIBL because not only do business partners probably want to keep the name but uh, like I said before there's fans right here in the comment section um, even some Native American fans that are tweeting out saying that they don't have a problem with the name in fact they think of it as representation so you definitely need to consult some type of group here before you go about and do the business um, I think if um, at the end of the day the people who would have who it should affect the most which would be the natives I think if they are fine with it, then I think they I would think the Redskins would keep it I mean, honestly, I'm still not sure if Washington is gonna change the team name just because it's been it's this has been a topic for years now Without anything changing. So we'll see how that goes um, but this this bit has kind of run its course a little bit. Let me know what you guys think I'll put the Giants news in another video another short ish video like this but what do you guys think should washington change its name should they you know go the whole nine yards change its logo and everything there's some people you know with the superstition that thinks it's cursed because they haven't really won anything in a long time and they're like they just want a fresh new start a clean slate on everything you know start over with everything new you know you got the brand new head coach you got the brand new quarterback all that you know brand new defensive line they're like all right just go ahead and clear the slate get new everything and then there's dudes who want to keep it so let me know what you guys think and maybe even suggest some of your uh names down there like i like i said my top three are braves or brave i think it was uh the warriors and pigskins and i'm, I'm really liking pigskins but let me know what you guys think and i'm out Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.